In this fast changing world, professionals are important to be able to recognize the strength, their weaknesses and uncover their professional identity. The recognition of reflexive practitioners is at the heart of management, learning and development. My name is Marius Constantino, and as part of my university course degree, I try to uncover my identity as an HR practitioner. This ever-increasing turbulent environment requires us to be reflexive, agile, and responsive to the changing situations. In order to find out who I am and better understand myself, I conducted an investigation by asking my academic colleagues and friends about important things that they noticed about me. In addition, I performed an emotional intelligence test in order to find out my emotional identification, perception, and expression. According to the test results, I was surprised to find out my emotion, recognition, perception, expression is at 66%. I, excuse me, I have the basic skills of recognizing and understanding. However, this was the point where I was convinced about nases and complexity of professional identity. Trying to become a professional practitioner, it is important to be able to possess my self-awareness and emotional intelligence. Only after that, I will be able to impact my staff members in order for them to do the same. If we all work in that way, we can develop the ability to perform admirably in any circumstance. In my opinion, it is important to assess the connection between emotional intelligence and performance. By performance, I mean the beneficial results. On the other hand, emotional intelligence is more difficult to be determined and it requires personal development, growth, reflection through feedback. In addition, it requires necessary and consistency and keeping yourself up to date of what it is new and how things change. One useful tool that helped me during this process was Johari's window. This window helped me determine how others see me and explore more about myself and my behaviors. My open self is characterized by leadership, consistency, and discipline. My blind spot, which I had not realized until lately, is that I become passive aggressive when I do not like the th uh, way things are being done. But from now on, and as part of my professional development, I will try to manage things in a different way since now this became part of my open self and it's something that fosters my colleagues and can disorient them. My hidden part is the fact that I do not want to be seen as weak and vulnerable and that's why I try to hide it. This works for me as a defense mechanism so I can control and manage the circumstances in my favor. Lastly, the Johari's window helped to explore the unknown part, which I had never thought of it before and no one else did as well. This is the most important part in my opinion because it is a point where a self-growth and better self-awareness start. The continuous reflection of knowledge and understanding of the world is key for the ontological and epistemological mythology that will contribute to my transformation into a reflexive HR practitioner. As a future HR practitioner, that will take into serious consideration emotional intelligence. And after reflection to my feedback, I appreciate the fact that I can influence people around me in a positive way. I always recognize my mistakes and I am brave enough to admit that I was wrong, as well as accept the consequences of my actions. I want my voice to be heard and I believe it is important to share opinions. In addition, after performing the emotional intelligence test, I realized that one word can change the whole meaning of a sentence. By this, I appreciated the behavior that I had, which I did not know, and that was the decisions made are totally based on the specific problems and cannot be generalized and fit to different scenarios. Each problem has its own solution. Each individual must be faced with a different approach, and each circumstance must be dealt separately. People are often stuck by gravity and hope that they already know everything or whatever they know is not for maintaining good professions. But what distinguishes a good professional from an evolving one is the fact that he uses gravity as method for a realistic approach. But in addition, he uses different ways to explore themselves and become excellent leaders. I want to break through gravity for change. Initially, it requires a process 
a, a process of discomfort and learning. And this is where people get a knockback. But you need to trust the process of self-development. And this is the only, then this only when you will achieve to get out of your comfort zone and start exploring. That is my future and biggest goal. And this is a university degree that made me realize this. Thank you very much for your time.